Hey there, I'm Ari from the Tech Buyers Guru and I've got another product review for you here on the channel today. This time around, I'm checking out Corsair's new white Dominator Platinum RGB DDR4 RAM. Now, if you're familiar with Corsair, which you probably are, you know they sell a lot of RAM and Dominator has always been their top tier, top bin stuff. What it has in common over the years is a heavy aluminum heat sink with patented technology plus aluminum fins that help dissipate the heat and also give it a distinctive look. Now, none of that has changed today with the new white modules. What we're simply getting is a new finish. It's not just white paint. You also get gold trim, which we've never seen in Dominator RAM before. So it really is something unique. Now, what we won't be seeing is the fastest RAM on the market today. That is saved for some of the other lineups like the black line of Dominator Platinum RGB RAM that actually debuted last year in 2019. I've reviewed this DDR4 3600 kit previously on the channel. And if you really want the fastest stuff, you'll have to go with the black finish. The white finish is really rather niche and Corsair knows it can't sell the white products in the same quantity. So it keeps it to the more mainstream speeds like DDR4 3200 and DDR4 3600. Now I happen to really like the white finish of RAM and other PC components, but it doesn't sell in the same quantities. So I think it makes a lot of sense that Corsair is just targeting the more popular frequencies for this rather niche product. Now let's have a closer look at this brand new white RAM from Corsair and then we'll get into some performance benchmarks. So what I'm testing here is the new Dominator White Platinum Kit in a DDR4 3600C18 speed. Then we are going to be comparing it to a DDR4 3200 kit at a C16 timing. And I'll also be comparing it to a faster DDR4 3600 C16 kit. So that's three different speeds, two different frequencies, but the timings also matter. They are a little bit harder to pin down, but a C16 kit is always going to be faster than a C18 kit at the same frequency. So these are indeed arranged by speed. And as you will see, the timings do matter. The C16 and C18 kits do not perform identically. Now here is the new white dominator platinum kit mounted in my system. Each module has 12 Capellix RGBs, 10 exposed and two under the nameplate. So I'm going to show you a number of the different color schemes you can select from in the Corsair IQ app. Of course, you can go with the solid color, which I've done here. White looks really good on the white heat sinks. Then we can look at something like Rainbow Wave, which is a pretty common color scheme we've seen on a lot of other RGB RAM. You can also go to a spiral rainbow, which is a little bit more sophisticated and uses the addressable nature of these RGBs. So they're actually changing colors down the line of the module. You can't do that with a lot of other RGB RAM heat sinks. Another very popular one and interesting one is what they call Inside Out, which I'll show you here. I actually really like this one. You can select either random or you can choose what your center color is and what your outside color is. And so sometimes I like to program this with like, say red in the middle and then it goes out to blue, kind of like a beating heart. And I really like that look for my personal system. And it's something, again, you can't do without the addressable RGBs. I'll be showing you a comparison to the standard Vengeance RGB Pro in a moment, but the blocky nature of the lighting here really does allow for some more distinctive animations like this marquee scheme, which truly emulates the look of flashing light bulbs along a movie theater marquee. Another one that's very cool is the rain color scheme, which you can see here. It's basically like drops of rain running down a window. Basically what Corsair is providing here is a simple form of pixel art and I could really see them expanding on this theme in the future perhaps with words or symbols that you could paint out with your RAM. Now here I've actually installed Corsair's own Vengeance RGB Pro RAM next to the Dominator kit and for this spiral rainbow pattern I actually prefer the light pipe design of the Vengeance RGB Pro. It's just smoother and looks better in my opinion but doesn't allow some of the more sophisticated animations I showed you a moment ago. Before I get into the benchmarks, let's talk price. The Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 3200C16 kit is 99. The Dominator Platinum DDR4 3600C18 is 168, although you can get this speed bin for 140 if you go with the simpler heat sinks. Finally, we have the Dominator Platinum in the 3600C16 bin. It's $470 for this 32 gig kit, but 16 gigabytes is 235. Now let's turn to the benchmarks. I actually did conduct a fresh run on all three sets of RAM on the same system within 24 hours. No change to the OS or the apps, no updates, no changes to the hardware. It's definitely apples to apples. And what you can see in these tests as I run through them is that the 3600C18 Dominator Platinum Kit 
runs a whole lot like the cheaper Vengeance RGB Pro 3200C16 kit. In other words, the timings really do matter. The frequency simply isn't enough to put this more expensive kit ahead. If you're going to pay more for 3600 MHz RAM, you should probably look for RAM that has tighter timings. So something like C17 or C16, even if it does cost a little bit more. Now, I know someone's going to comment and say, I did something wrong. You didn't install the RAM right, blah, blah, blah. Look, if you look at the Geekbench 4 benchmarks, you can actually see that the Dominator Platinum 3600C18 kit is working perfectly. The memory bandwidth test shows that it actually hits the exact same speed as the more expensive C16 kit, but its much higher latency makes it perform more like the 3200C16 kit. Even in the two game benchmarks that I ran here, the 3600C18 kit was actually the slowest. And sure, there is run-to-run -run inconsistency when you're doing real-world testing with games, which is what I was doing. I did not use a canned benchmark. But even so, the DDR4 3600C18 kit certainly didn't pull away from the pack. So what do I think of Corsair's new Dominator Platinum RGB RAM? Well, it definitely has a distinctive look. Not only do you get the white paint job, but you get the gold trim. That was a very bold choice by Corsair, and I applaud them. I think it looks really, really cool. We've never seen anything like that on the market previously. With that said, if you want the fastest RAM, you actually have to turn to some of their other lineups, including their matte black version of Dominator Platinum or their Vengeance LPX RAM. If you want some of the better values in RGB RAM, you can look to the Vengeance RGB Pro. I personally like the look of the RGB effects on this cheaper RAM more than the Capellex Enhanced Dominator Platinum, just because it has a smoother light pipe look. You know, they've gone with kind of what I consider a retro look with the blocky RGB effects. They could, of course, make it look smoother like a light pipe, like in their cheaper RGB RAM. They just went with this different look. It doesn't appeal to me as much, but if you like that retro blocky RGB effects, well, you have that here with Dominator Platinum. It also allows different animations that you couldn't see as distinctly if you just had all the light blending together in a light pipe like their Vengeance RGB Pro. So I know why they did it. It just isn't my personal preference. But if you like that look, like I've shown you in the video, well, this is one of a kind. There's nothing else like it out there. Overall, I'll give it four out of five stars for that distinctive look. I really love the white paint and the gold trim. You know, I personally would probably go with either their cheaper lineup or perhaps one of their higher binned DDR4 black kits. But you've got something in the middle with the new white kit. And it is, of course, backed with a lifetime warranty and the best customer service in the business from Corsair. So you really can't go wrong getting RAM from Corsair no matter which kit you choose. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that, and I will catch you next time.